Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Daily Tips with Monica. I appreciate you guys' love and I appreciate you guys' support. So guys, I, if you have not hit that like button, hit that like button. If you want to share me out, share me out. Share me out to all different platforms. Uh, like I told you guys, I do appreciate you guys' support. Um, guys, what we're going to talk about today is, um, uh, what we're going to talk about was, what is what, uh, what we're going to talk about is things that help make a person truly happy. Um, you know, yesterday we was talking about money can't buy you happiness. So today we're going to talk about what truly makes a person happy and so let's get into the tips um make sure you guys have said as well make sure you thumbs up this premiere make sure you guys if you want to share me out share me out um so so guys we are all looking for the key to our happiness in some shape or form and through what brings us brings one person joy can be completely different from what from what brings another person joy and there are few things that we all need to really be content in life So when you ask that question, when we ask that question, what makes a person truly happy? The answer will always vary, but they all will resonate with anyone seeking ways to be their happier self. So here are some tips that um, we can use that to make us truly happy, be a more happier person. Um, the first thing is having a purpose. We all need some something that drives us and give us a reason in our lives. It, no matter if it's big or little, it may be. But no matter how big or small it is, but it's a part of being happy is discovering your own purpose. However, you define your purpose. And you have to seek the meaning for greater fulfillment. When we have a purpose greater than ourselves, for which we can apply our unique talents, we are ultimately fulfilled and happy. So, to start, you need to know what you are good at. Are you a good speaker, organizer, or cook? Or do you enjoy animals? Or politics find out what your strengths are and apply them to achieve something big alone or with others so have a purpose what is that things that drives you and then and, and, and that thing that you are good at think about those things and and those things that you know that you or that drives you and that you enjoy it does it give you if it gives you fulfillment and it makes you feel good and have joy on the inside that what truly makes you happy and you want to do those things that truly make you happy and like they say people always say live in your purpose so if you're living in your purpose you have no need to feel as though to feel as though you don't you don't you 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 you're not fulfilling your needs in life if you're living in your purpose. Those people, those those things that you like to do, um if it is cooking, speaking, organizing. It makes you feel good when you do those things because you know that 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 will drive 
That what makes you happy. That what makes you want to get up in the morning and do these daily tips. Because I do like talking. And I do like uh, encouraging people. So I feel like talking to you guys. I'm using myself as an example. I'm, I talk. I think by giving you these daily tips every day is a way of fulfilling my purpose, and it gives me joy and it gives me happiness to know that you know. Not only am I a individual that could be needing a daily tips to get through the day, but it's people uh, that are like-minded like myself that needs to be uh that need these tips to get through the day so have a purpose the second thing is giving to others doing acts of kindness aren't just beneficial to the receiver they can have an impact on your happiness as well <gasps> Excuse me. Giving to other people puts things into perspective. It can make us happier than make taking something from another individual. And a, a, a neurologist suggests that our brains are wired to derive pleasure from giving. Um, numerous studies have shown that giving rather than taking make us far happier the paradox of generosity suggests that regardless of your income your or the individual who spend both time and money on others are significantly happier than the ones who spend on themselves so um uh, the, another thing that makes people happy, truly happy, is giving. Some people just giving to somebody. And I ain't talking about somebody that's less fortunate or somebody just giving to someone because you just feel the need to give and you want to give and it feels so good to give that you don't mind giving. And it, and it makes you happy to know that you have blessed someone. It's okay to have that to have that giving spirit and that and that you you're able to help someone and you know you can help someone you have the finances to help someone and and, and it, it does give you true happiness and like it says you know we are wired to be like me i am a giver i don't take 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 because i i feel like it's hard for me to take it sometimes because i don't feel like i want to be perceived as taking advantage of anyone so that's why it's so hard for me to be a taker but i am a very giving person because i always want to make sure that you know i'm being given genuously to a friendship i'm giving genuously to family or i'm giving generously to relationship whatever it, it, it don't have to be money it can be it, it, um emotion um physical it could be anything like that just being given and if it makes you happy then that's great but let me let you tell tell you this as well don't be taken advantage of it's okay to give and it's okay for people to take as well but when you're taking and then you see that oh but this person don't mind me giving. So what you're going to continue to do is you're trying to take, 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 take from that person because you know they got it like that. That's not right. That is not right. The third thing is love and companionship. Love in any form, guys, brings happiness to our lives. Healthy relationship with friends family and a significant other can all improve our quality of life and you and can bring joy to it um know that we are all social creatures at heart and no matter how shy or quiet some of us are we all desire to be loved by those that are closest to us in order to be happy it's imperative to have a meaningful relationship with other people both romantic and platonic What's the point of living a life of happiness 
when you can't experience it with those that are close to you. So, um, what can truly make a person happy is love and companionship. Those that love, or true love, I'm talking about someone that's, that's that true love from family, friends, or a significant other, that love of security, the love of being someone's best friend, um, the love of just just looking in someone's eyes, knowing that they, they don't have the eyes for no one else but you. And you feel they show you that love each and every day. No, every day ain't going to be rainbows and sunshines, but you you know that you know that love is real and that what makes it so make you so happy because you know you coming home or i'm talking about relationship, you coming home to someone that actually do love you that actually do accept you that wants to spend the rest of their life with you and it makes you feel so good and it makes you so happy that y'all have built a family together y'all have um y'all can talk about Y'all can sit down and talk about how y'all met and things like that. And then when it comes to family, y'all can just, you know, meet each other and you ain't seen each other in a while and you just hug and say, you know what, I love you. Because, child, I've been missing you. We ain't talked in a while. Friends. So that's the same thing with family and friends. You know, I have friends that I love dearly. Me and her, we don't see each other all the time. But when we check in and talk to each other, it's like we never left. You know, we we haven't been ain't talked to each other in a couple of weeks, but it seems like we always come back to full circle. We always been cool. We always been best friends, and we always whatever we want to talk about, we can talk about. And it's like it's nothing. I'm gonna tell y'all something. It ain't nothing like love. It's nothing like true love. It's nothing like someone's actually just loving you for you. And nothing wrong with that. Everyone deserves to have true love. I feel in my heart now. Everyone should have to have should have to should have true love and true happiness. Um, the fourth thing is having basic needs met. Um, having food, water, clothing, shelter is a key to happiness. But the misconception is that more money and material thing beyond these needs directly correlates to happiness. And that's not necessarily the case. So, um, know that money is a major contributor to your happiness up until your basic needs are met. Food, water, shelter, and clothing. After you can afford to have these needs met, the amount of happiness money can bring you doesn't drastically increase it anymore. So, um, having those basic needs made, you got your lights, water, gas, you got food, and you got clothes. That's those basic necessities in life that you need to make you happy. Do you need the next big Gucci bag? Ask yourself that. Do you need the next best iPhone? You really don't. Is it going to, because over time they're going to have a new phone. And you're going to be wanting to get that. So, be happy with those basic things in life that are able to be met. So, that means that, um, that means, that means that, um, you know, those, those that, you know, you, you able to have running water, you're able to eat a meal, um, even if you're not able to eat out every day, if you got food in the refrigerator just cooking, you got a meal. If you have a roof over your head, think about all those things some people lack and you have it. So be grateful and, 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 and be happy with it. And know that, you know, after you that money, you use money to take care of those basic needs. After that, the value of that money changes. Okay, the fifth thing is staying healthy. Um, unfortunately, our health, guys, isn't always something we can control. However, what is in our hands is our ability to take care of our body as best as we can. Being active, 
eating food that is nourishing in our mental health. Make sure that we're nurturing our mental health, which is saying just as important as your physical health. And it all contributes to your happiness. So always stay healthy. Always keep your mind, body, and spirit in a happy place. Always, if, if that, that what truly makes you happy, if you can get those things um, taken care of, your well-being, that's just your well-being. Your well-being is your health. Like, make sure that you are physically, emotionally, and nourishing. Make sure nourished. Make make sure you're eating the right things. And I, you know, me myself, I am guilty of not eating the right things. Honey. But I keep my mental and physical together. I try to make sure I do all those day yearly checkups. Um, I'm, I I got to go to the doctor um soon and make an appointment because I'm having issues out of this shoulder um it's kind of like it hurts me a little bit but you know what you know me you know me i'm the type of person i'm like man i'll be okay i'll push through but i know eventually i'm gonna have to go to the doctor about this shoulder so make sure you guys are staying on your your health um make sure you know because that was that can as well can contribute to our happiness um acceptance of yourself is the sixth thing a huge part of happiness in your life, in our life, is being happy with yourself. Foremost, the most adhering to some sort of moral code that gives them the reason, hold them accountable. Self-actualization. That is, like I was talking to you guys about Maslow's hierarchy of needs theory, morality, and staying true to yourself are all crucial parts of being content. The key is to love yourself. When you learn how to love yourself, you'll know that several things will happen. You'll stop looking outside yourself for happiness. You won't feel forced into doing things for acceptance or approval and stop buying things you don't need for a temporary pleasure. You'll stop taking things personally and having rejection isn't so crushing and no one could understand you the way you understand yourself. So don't expect them to. Be your own advocate. Your life will become more colorful without those social pressures. You'll discover the things you truly enjoy doing the, and may even discover some healing talents in the process. Um, your motivations will be pure. You won't be getting in fit or advancing in your career to impress anyone. You'll be doing it for you. You'll realize you deserve to be happy. Happy, not happy, but happy. Say, I deserve to be happy. Monica Puglia deserves to be happy. You, who look at this screen, you deserve to be happy. And you'll find it in a much easier to give love to others. So, um, acceptance of yourself. Make sure you are a being accepting of yourself. Make sure you are loving yourself. Make sure you're advocating for yourself. Um, um, and, and once you do those things, you won't, like it says, you know, you won't feel, um, you won't, um, you'll stop allowing things to happen in your life that are not good for you. You won't um, be forced to do things that you don't really feel comfortable doing. You're just doing it for acceptance and approval. Um, and you won't be buying things to, for a temporary pleasure. You'll just be accepting of yourself and you love yourself and you know that hey you know what i i, I choose this year day i choose this day and this day forward to truly be happy so truly be happy with yourself and the right kind of people will come along in your life so guys that's all the daily tips that we have um i'm gonna go ahead and recap then we're going to get on out of here. Um, the first thing is having a purpose. Having a purpose. Go pee, baby. Hold on, baby. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry, guys. We had a travesty. Lord, have mercy. So, um... 
No, the first thing I was talking about, guys, is having a purpose. Make sure that you're living in your purpose and you're doing those things that you enjoy doing. The second thing is um, giving to others. Um, giving a act of kindness to someone and giving to a person without an expectation, those are the, some of the things that can make you happy. So giving to someone makes you happy is great. But make sure you're not getting to taken advantage of either. So um, if giving to someone, being generous and giving to someone makes you happy is another form of making people happy. Um, the third thing is um, another thing that help make a person truly happy is love and companionship. If you getting someone getting the true authentic love from family, friends, and a significant other, uh, it does improve your quality of life and it does bring people joy. So, love and companionship truly makes people happy. And it's, it's real love and real compassion, not nothing watered down or fake or someone that or, or having some kind of expectation, but the real love, and real companionship that would really matter. Um, the fourth thing is having basic needs met. Um, that means is those things of like food, water, clothing, shelter are the key things to keeping you happy. That makes you happy. All that extra stuff you just need to make just for show. So as long as your basic needs are met, be happy about that. Um the fifth thing is staying healthy. Make sure you're keeping your physical but uh, nourished. Physical well-being, mental well-being, and make sure you're you're eating healthy. Make sure you're taking, you make sure all those things that I talk about. Make sure that those things are taken care of and and, and let it contribute to your happiness. And the last but not least thing is accepting to yourself. So accept yourself, love yourself, be your own advocate. Know that you are worthy of happiness. Know that you are worthy of all those things. That you have. Jamel, Jamel, no. Um. So, guys, those are the daily tips that I do have. Um. I, I appreciate you guys for coming. And like I always tell you guys, I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for your support. Um. If you guys ever need me or anything like that. You can always email me at mjjfamily2020 at gmail.com. As well, guys, I would like for you to check out my feature channel for the month. This Everyday Life with the Kelly Girls. Um, and then um, I am doing two interviews this month. I'm doing one on the 22nd with Get Lit with Mo. And I'm doing one August the 28th with Tracy Allen, the author of Don't Let God Smell Your Panties and uh, my panties clean so guys don't so make sure you look forward to that set your calendar set get your get your schedule clean because we're going to be doing some interviews honey and if you want um to contribute to um the mj and j family platform uh, you can always cash at me at, j, at j and j mom 18. um that's all i do have um, don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. If they didn't give it to you, they can't take it away. So happy Wednesday, everybody. And y'all, see y'all on Thursday. Y'all, the week is going by pretty fast. Have a good one. Jamel.